job that has really changed my life. It's a fun job and it's a job where you're making a difference. You're making a difference in someone's life. The excitement on their face when you see them um, and the time that you spend with them, how joyful it is to them. You found a unique way to meet the needs of this particular child and to really support a family. You have the best job that there is in that you get to do what the child wants to do. It really becomes more than just a job. I can honestly say that I, I go to work and I enjoy my work every single day. We've been working with Robert since he was four years old. Started with my daughter Rebecca and as he got older uh, her schedule got busy, so I took over as a, the respite worker, and I've been spending three hours every Saturday with Robert for the last nine years. He usually brings me here for a bike ride sometimes if the weather is good, or sometimes we have a barbecue here. We at least talk about what's going on, what happens at school, happens at home. I think the most rewarding element is to see the smile on Robert's face when I go to the door on Saturday morning, he's eager to share his week with me. I don't see it as a, as a job or something that I have to do, something I want to do. He's a very good wrestler. We're going to, I think he'll always like me for a very long time. Right. Alexandra is my daughter. She has cerebral palsy. And she needs a lot of attention. She needs a lot of therapies, a lot of help in every way. It's been a joy to work with her and it's just really like actually giving me a career focus of what I would really like to do. This was a part-time job that I got into and it's totally changed my focus of what I want to do with my life. Esther, I have to say that she's a jewel. She works with my daughter really hard. Alexandra loves her very much. The services that they provide have allowed me to be a mom. You're making a change in somebody's life. You're helping them improve, develop, you're helping the family. Alexandra is happier now. She has another friend to play with, to work with. Those therapies that they do every day, Esther has made them like a game. So for her, it's just having fun. At the same time, she's developing, she's improving. The child grows to trust you. The parents know you're someone they can count on. And you, you become part of that team because when you're dealing with a child who has special needs, you need people to come together to, to make your plan work. And a respite worker is a very important part of that. As much as you're working with you know, this child, you're also working with the family as a whole because it's important to them to get to know you and work with you as you're working with their child. A lot of the boys that I work with, they really enjoy physical activities. So they like to be outdoors uh, doing all sorts of stuff, playing soccer or playing hockey. I told them what I was looking for um, in terms of hours in terms of flexibility. It is a job in that I get a paycheck, um, but it, it's not a job because it doesn't really feel like work. They're really flexible with your, their hours and it also allows me to work pretty much in the same field with distributing meds or um, doing practicing rehab with the young girl that I work with. Family respite was just going to be a part-time job for me while I was in university. Um, and shortly after starting with Derek, I changed my major and everything. This is the basement of my house and it started off as my room for when I was going to be in university. It was going to be my study room and a hangout room and it slowly got invaded <laughs> by Derek's toys and now it's Derek's room. So when he comes over, this is where we play, this is where we learn. I have so much fun with him. We look forward to him coming over to our house and you know, we have activities planned and we all look forward to it. We got him a three-wheel bike, so he rides that up and down our road. It's really neat to be able to share in his life. And it's real. I'm grateful that his parents allow me to be a part of his life because he's such an amazing kid. I always say that Hannah has the ability to sell your heart in 10 seconds flat. She has a formidable spirit and she reaches out to you and it just feeds you to be with her. Without that break, um, I couldn't have Hannah at my house and you never have a child with the intention of not having them live with you. It's um, really hard to describe the ongoing um, nature of taking care of children with disabilities. You're living with it 24-7 and day after day after day. Joshua's our oldest, he's seven. Uh, he was born with a condition called schizencephaly. We met uh, Colleen, who is Joshua's worker, um, when he was about not even two years old. We always said she was an angel sent to our family and she's become another member of our family. I'm a nurse. I'm an RPN. I love working with children, special needs children especially. 
because they've got so much to offer. When I started with Josh, he didn't like people and he didn't like people in his space. Now he welcomes them. They have a great time together. They have a wonderful relationship. It's wonderful to see how they've connected. Um, he has a talk now, this is something new that he has, and he's able to ask for people, and he asks for her. On his talker, he now has, I love you, and for the first time he told me he loved me. A big reward. Nathan is four years old, and just last year he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Communication is probably the main thing that um, Nathan works on, or that I work on with him. And it's just really finding uh, new and inventive ways to get him to use the language skills that we know that he has. I'm thinking of going into a career of teaching. So working with children with special needs is something that I'm going to encounter in the classroom. You also get challenged to think creatively, to always think one step ahead of them. It's just so important just to re-energize so that when you come back to your children, you're able to be creative again. You're able to give them that extra care. You're able to focus on them a little bit more. It's helped us in so many different levels. Um, just for our marriage and our family, um, we're able to get a break and uh, they're able to use these services so that they can be an active member of the community, that they can go out there like other children their age. When I came to Family Respite, I had very little knowledge about autism or any other developmental disability. They're always available to answer our questions. They've got a wonderful team. The support workers are accessible to us at any time. So if there was an emergency or a situation that we're unclear of how to handle, there's somebody that we can get involved with. I think of um, Family Respite Services as a, as a lifesaver. There are many points in time in raising these kids that we have had crises and we've been able to rely on the services of family respite to help us get through those times. And I can just tell you from a personal perspective that it's a need, it's not a want from our family. We would not be able to, to sustain the level of love and care and sense of family um, time that we do have without that break. Each day you've done something to make a difference in someone's lives, not just in the lives of the child, but also in the lives of the parents, you can walk away and say, I've done something to help someone out. I've made a difference today. It's very rewarding in the end because you get to not only build on your experience, but for me, I've also gained a lot more self-confidence and um, it's just been an overall meaning, meaningful experience. It becomes more than just a, a client relationship and you become almost like a part of their family and it really makes you feel um, that the family really appreciates the support that you give to them. Whether you're in high school, middle age, or going into your senior years, it's a wonderful opportunity to get involved. For more information, contact your local respite network. For a listing of agencies that provide respite care in your community, visit www.respiteservices.com.